cameras. We photographers are obsessed with cameras, aren't we? I mean, after all, they are the tools that we use every day to do our jobs or to create art. So the more knowledgeable we are about them, the better. So to an extent, it makes sense to be obsessed with cameras. The problem is that cameras can be bought. And some of us believe, I know I did in the past, that photography can be bought that way as well. We see photographers with amazing work that we love. We see what they do. We see what they use, the camera, the lens, the film stock, the developer. And we believe that all we need to create that same work is the gear that they are using. Or we believe that it's a requirement that we need that exact same camera or lens to create what they are creating. Let me make a little comparison here because this uh, has happened to me a few times in my life and I'm pretty sure that it's happened to some of you as well. Uh, is when we want to exercise or we want to lose weight or we want to just have a healthier lifestyle in general. What do we do? We buy clothes for exercising, we buy shoes for running, we join a gym because we think we believe that that is all we need. And it works at the beginning because we are motivated and we are inspired, but over time we realize that it's going to take a lot of dedication and effort to achieve what we want to achieve. The same happens with a new camera or a new lens or a new film stock. After a while the novelty wears off and we are left with whatever we had before. That's because the magic doesn't happen when we buy a new piece of gear. The magic is inside us. Art is a form of expression, but in order to express ourselves, we need to have something to say. We need to have something to share. We need to be passionate about something. In my case, my journey in photography didn't start when I bought a camera. It started when I discovered my passion for the outdoors. I believe that is what makes the difference between a good photographer and a great photographer. It's never the camera. It's never the lens. All the greatest photographers have that in common, the passion about their subject so much that it's almost an obsession. You can't stop thinking about it. You just can't wait to get out and make more images. And it can be any other way. Sometimes we don't feel like making images because we are humans after all. We have ups and downs. It's only when we are really passionate about something that we do whatever it takes to make those images happen. If you are struggling with inspiration in your photography, please stop looking at new cameras, new lenses, new film stocks, new developers. Don't look at gear or chemicals. They are not going to make your images any better. We need to find something that inspires us, that moves us. And if we already had it, we need to get it back. The best way to do this is to start creating today, right now. Make it easy, remove all frictions and start small. You can use your phone. You don't have to edit the images. It doesn't really matter. Start a project. It could be about anything. It could be selfies of yourself. It could be just a capture from the same window every day and publish it somewhere. But the most important thing is to finish that project and then start another one and then another one until you find something that you are really passionate about. Once you find something that you're passionate about, inspiration will come to you and that's how photography starts.